Let us now learn about the concept of the long number line. Now you might think long number line means one kilometer long. No, no, no. We are still going to talk about this size number line. But we are going to mark large numbers on this number line. If I wanted to mark 3, I can mark it there. You know that this is distance of 1, distance of 1, distance of 1. Similarly, if I want 4, I can mark with a distance of 1. I can mark 5, 6, 7. But how do I mark 10? 10 will be very far away. How do I mark 1000? It will be even far away, right? So, we cannot mark on the number line like this. So, then what do we do? Well, what we do is that we take this line and we put a break. So, suppose from this point to this point, if I didn't put a break, this means it is a distance of 1. But if I put a break like this, or I put a break like this, that means from here to there, I don't know what is the distance. It could be 1 unit, it could be 100 units, it could be 1000 units. Okay, so the break just tells you that this point is to the right of that point. It does not tell you how many points are there in between. So let us use that idea to plot 10, 90 and 1000 on this number line. So after 2, I am going to put a break. So I don't know how many points are there after this. But after some time, you will get 10. 10 is to the right of 2, that you know. Right, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, after some time, you will get 10. So when I put it here, it means this is not 1. The break tells you from 2 to 10, there are a bunch of points in between. How many? We don't know. But what we do know is that 10 comes after 2. 90 comes after 10. 10, 11, 12, like that. If you continue, then somewhere far away, you will get 90. So we put a break, then put 90. The break tells you that this gap is not 1 unit. 1000, 1000, 90, 91, 92, 100, 200, 300, you will keep going. So 1000 is definitely to the right. So that means I must put a break and then put 1000 after the break. So this 90 to 1000, there is a lot of points in between. I am not putting all those points. I am just pointing them like this, making 90 and 1000 almost so close to each other. It looks like there are only two steps. That break tells you there are many steps in between 90 and 1000. Okay, the main idea is that 1000 is to the right of 90, 90 is to the right of 10, and 10 is to the right of 2. Suppose I move to the left side and let us plot some of these negative numbers. Minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5. So I can keep plotting numbers like this and as I move this way, the numbers decrease and the absolute value increases. Okay. So if I look at minus 15, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5, minus 15 is going to come to the left. So I put a break and then put minus 15. Minus 40, minus 15, minus 16, minus 17, minus 18, minus 40 will come somewhere there. So I'll put a break and put minus 40. The break tells you, you don't know the distance between these two points. There are lots of points in between which we have not marked. That's why we have put a break in between. What about minus 700? Minus 40, minus 50, minus 60, minus 70. If you keep going, minus 700 will come way down, right? So we put a break and we put minus 700. Notice, when I go that way, the absolute value increases. When I go this way from 0, the numbers decrease, but the absolute value again increases. 1, 2, 15, 40, 700, the absolute value increases. As you go away from 0, left or right, the absolute value gets bigger and bigger. Let us now use the concept of the long number line to plot these numbers on the line. Okay, so I have 45, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, I keep going like this, 45 is going to be to the right, so I plot it here and I put a break to say that this is not a gap of 1 unit. What about 923? Well, 45, 46, 47, 923 is going to be quite far away on the right. So I will put it there, 923, and put a small break next to it. What about 116? 116 is bigger than 45. 45, 46, 47, somewhere there, right? But will it be after 923? No. 116 is before 923. So 116 must be somewhere here. 
already on that side I have put a break, but here also I need a break, no? Between 45 and 116, now it looks like there is a gap of 1. But actually you know that there are lots of gaps, so we put a break there. Let us now look at a few examples on the negative side. I have minus 45, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 45 comes to the left. So I am going to put it here and I am going to put a break in the number line. Okay, what about minus 923? You know that minus 923 is going to be way down there. So I'll put it there and put a small break. What about minus 116? Minus 45, minus 46, minus 47. If you keep going, you will get to minus 100, minus 116. And then if you keep continuing, minus 200, minus 300, only after that you will get minus 923. So minus 116 has to be in between minus 45 and minus 923. So I will put it in here. This side already has a break. That side also needs a break. So I put a break. I hope you have understood how by using the concept of these breaks, we can mark very large numbers on even a number line that is this small.